Ms. McCrory, you and your husband claim the defendant's ex-husband, Mr. Gino Bailey, who recently passed away, fathered your three-year-old daughter, Nevaeh. You say you will return to court to fight for your share of Social Security death benefits after today's test proves he is the father. Is that correct? Yes, Shana. Ms. Smith, you and your daughter say it would be medically impossible for your ex-husband to be the child's biological father and state the McCrory's are in this only for the money. Ms. Smith, how can you be so sure that your ex-husband isn't the father of Miss McCrory's baby? Because she's in it for the money. That's really? all she wants is the money. Why do you say that? This is the proof of the survival benefits that my daughter... I'd like to see that. Will you pass that to me, Ron? Well, the yeah. thing is, I believe I have every right to the money. Because he's if it's, he's, the, he's the father of her, I know 100% he is, and he should support her. Go. <laughs> but you understand that Ms. Smith nor Ms. Minto, they don't have anything to do with how the Social Security office divvies out death benefits. You understand they are not in charge of that. Yes, I do. If she believed that my late ex-husband was the father of her child, why didn't she get a DNA test before he died? Why did she wait until after he died and then two days later message my daughter and asked for her to give a DNA test? So you're saying the timing of this is off. Yes, So that's a good question, Ms. McCrory. Why did you wait? I didn't wait. I heard... Uh, when, I, when I was with her... her father, Gino... I, he actually would want it to take a DNA test, but he wouldn't because of his current girlfriend he was with because she didn't want him involved with me. I know that it's, he's the father to my child because he's the only one I'm sleeping with. So she has a right to the benefits. He should support her. He can't support her if he's dead. I believe that all Ms. she Minto, wants is the money. Yeah. I see this is upsetting. Okay. It's hard to hear people talk about your dad and the fact that he may potentially have another child, Ms. Minto. I really don't care if she is my sister. I won't have nothing to do with it. Because I had 19 years and I want to remember my father the way he was, being his only little girl. Yes. When I spoke to my father, he told me that it wasn't his. He said there's no possibility. She looks nothing like him. And then you chose to believe your father. That's what yes, you were I told. Yes, I believe my father. Okay. In your court papers, you also say that it is medically impossible for Ms. McCrory's child to be your sibling. How was that the case? Explain it. He had a, um, a medical condition that was to do with the XY chromosome. If he had gotten someone pregnant, it could end up as a miscarriage. Wow, okay. what you said. You told me he cannot have kids Will at you all. let me speak, please? Well, you're lying. I'm not here. lying. I have the this proof right here. All right, let me see this paperwork. Ron, can you pass this it to me, This is the proof please? from... The chromosome specialist Two different from where stories. I live, from in Massachusetts, where I'm from, it took me three years to get pregnant with Sierra when I was married to my late ex-husband. Okay. Miracles do happen. Okay. They have called so Sierra stupid. a miracle baby. She has inherited the same chromosome as he had. This is the reason why she is having a hard time conceiving. We told her that he had a medical chromosome condition. You did not. And she sat right there and called us a liar that it wasn't true. So you're saying you did inform her? She yes, wasn't informed Because about let's it. be honest, if in fact this, uh, you know, Nevaeh is in fact his biological daughter, the same issue your daughter has inherited, she potentially exactly. could have inherited. Exactly. So the stakes are even higher here. There's the, the paternity issue. You're saying there's also the survivor's benefits issue, potentially. And now there's a medical condition at issue. She might not have known of the medical issue at that point when she was with him, but we, both my daughter and I, told her about it, and she called us a liar. So... It's not because I'm going by what he told me. Ms. McCrory, let me, you know, we've had a lot of talk about the deceased. I have to ask you this. During that window of conception, that time, were you intimate with anyone else? No. Up until I was intimate with him from August until November. And there was no one else in the picture? 
Do you remember the night you believe you conceived? Yes. I mean, it was brown sheets with flowers and everything, and we did it like all night long, okay. three times. <laughs> That I could guarantee well, you. Well, you know what? Go. You must not know. Maybe you weren't good enough then. I was married okay, to the. Okay, hold on. And let's <laughs> keep butt. the testimony <laughs> respectful. So you believe that was the time you yes. conceived. And shortly thereafter, that's when you found out you were pregnant and informed. Yeah, after we kind of like drifted apart because I wasn't going to be with a male whore. I'm sorry to say it that way, but that's what he was. And one of his relatives even said growing up, they called him male gigolo. And there's even a, another child saying that he's her father oh, okay. out there. Yeah, now that he's dead. She's, no, it was she's said, said when she, me. she's always Just, said it when he's alive. But you know what? We're not here to discuss anybody else. We're here to discuss your child. Yeah, my child. You know child. what? You're making my late ex-husband turned out to be That's some he, kind of idiot. But in no, he's reality, really not. No, honestly, I know you're he's not. Lying. He was a good man. That's why you called him a man whore. Well, that's what he is. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, Miss Smith, who do you believe the father is? God, I do think you it's know? her husband, Mr. McCurry. No, it's not. No, it's not. I... Oh, wait a minute. You believe <laughs> oh, that the God. child's this... real biological this father is, is her current husband, Mr. McCrory, and you believe this is a plot. They, this is a conspiracy I I between the two of them her. to try to get the survivor's benefits. The whole situation is, is that my late ex-husband is very dark-featured, his daughter, very dark White. featured. Really? Okay, I feel, me. I think Nevaeh looks like Mr. McCrory. Ms. McCrory, who's on the birth certificate? My husband. Uh, oh, I, I can okay, explain why. So why? Uh, no, I can explain do why. Do you have the birth certificate with you? I'd like to yes, see I do. that. Yeah, we do. Ron, let me see this birth certificate. <laughs> I took responsibility because he didn't want to. He said that he because was I about was his to one get and rid only. Of... You're not his one and only. He said that I'm not, I don't want to uh, be involved because my daughter's going to be 18 and I have to pay child support. And I don't want to pay again. I he had to 18. pay child support till he, she was 21 years old. He said 18 to me. No, it was 21. Well, that's what he told he was... me. All right, ladies, let's get some control. This is the certificate of live birth. The child's name, Nevaeh McCrory, and father's name is listed as your current husband, Keith McCrory. Now, Mr. McCrory, you said you stepped up to the plate because he didn't want to. Yeah. Obviously. So by the time the child was born, you were married to Ms. McCrory or you all were dating? We were dating. He knew that he was the father because there were several times I met, I met him in a drugstore and ran into him and he's sitting there saying that, oh, she's got my eyes and smirking at me. Oh, she's got my fangs. She looks just like me. And he actually texted my wife at the day of birth and said, congratulations, and can I see her? Really? Yes, yes he did. And you no. saw this text? Yes, yes he did. I did. He was with us the day he, your daughter was born. He texted me on my cell phone. Did and we, why would a man want to step up to be a father of someone else's father that was well He's not well and the alive? father. <laughs> yeah. When I got okay. with my... Are you stupid? Obviously. I went to every doctor's appointment. I went to the ultrasounds. And then I, I was basically with her for the whole pregnancy, which she wasn't. And so I fell in love with that child, and I'm going to be with her for the rest of my life and get married to her, so why not take responsibility for somebody who couldn't? Who, so, so he so denied. you just wanted to step up to the plate for a child born to the woman you love and you plan to spend the rest of your life with. Yes. Why? So you thought you were doing the right thing. Yes. Now, Mr. and Ms. McCrory, you are so convinced that Ms. Mento's dad is the father that you submitted some photos. Yes, Your Honor. On the left, we have photos of Nevea. His fangs and her fangs. And then on the right, Mr. <laughs> Bailey. Yes. No resemblance. And they're in the same spot and everything. The eyes, they're big, they're huge, they got the they're same not, setting. Her eyes are bigger than his. So the court obtained photos of Nevea, pictured they on the left. Right. No, and Miss Mento okay. as a child on the right. Do you see a resemblance there? No. Yeah, no. different hair color, but the facials, the nose, the mouth. It no. Looks just like. You're gonna say no because you don't want it to be true. No, I'm not gonna sit That's here and lie. Is. If she looked like my daughter, I'd say she did. I don't believe she does. The fact is, is she's still in love with him and she can't see anybody else with him, sleeping with him, or he anybody else with him. He actually told me that once, how you're all, still in love with him, always bugging She'll him. Always you know what, something? He was my true love and my only love, okay? 
He never even likes you. Well, I was he must have liked me the one to sleep with me. She has done nothing but harass my daughter nope. for two years. Nope. And I have some proof. From, that, we made a memorial. That's what I want to see. Is we made proof. A, we made him. Ron, let me have that proof. We what is this a memorial proof of? Speech in Smith. honor of him when he died. So they decided to go onto the memorial page and message the administrators, which is me, myself, and my son-in-law. And, and this is just some of the stuff that they text or wrote to me. So you put up a memorial page. I'm the one that made it. She you did. did for your dad once he passed away. And then you got messages that said from the McCrory's, listen, you're not daddy's only little girl <coughs> newsflash. We've had and a message that said, don't worry, you'll meet daddy's girl soon. Hope you're a good big sister. Yeah, that's... Why would you put this up on the memorial page? I just... didn't... I put it up there because, you know, it's just saying, nope. you know, I can't wait for her to meet her sister. And, no, you know, I want you, other people to know that that's No, kid. no, this did not have a good intention. And let's let's, let's, not, let's not pretend. And there's hold been... on, hold on, hold on. Now, I want to hear the testimony, but don't feed me. A bu uh, uh, listen, that does not say boo-boo the fool. You did not put this on that page with no. any good intention. No. But see, this is the thing. So why do that to her after her father passed away? We've been, we've been harassed for four years. She would, she would make fake profiles of my, of my wife and my stepdaughter. So in other words, in other words, you're doing this to get back at her. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna get angry. Right, so don't testify in the beginning that you were doing it because you were so happy for her to meet her little sister. That's a lie. Just tell the truth from the get-go. You think I can't sit here and see that this has been years of back and forth drama between you all? So all I'm saying is, d don't, don't feed me a bunch of lies like I'm gonna believe that when you know good and well you had no good intention behind sending that. Just say, we've been on a Facebook social media war and I wanted to get back at them. I might not like it, but at least I know it's not a lie. Yes, Your Honor. I'm done with this. Ron, give me the results. Yes, ma'am. Listen to this. <laughs> fake profiles, fake. Everybody fake. <laughs> no, really. They are. This is just, this, 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 is a, this is just a mess. There is a child, a three-year-old child, that has no clue who her father is. And if Mr. Bailey is her biological father, he's deceased. Let him... We got bigger fish to fry than this nonsense. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Ms. Smith, you have testified today that you believe Mr. McCrory is in fact Nevaeh's biological father. Yes. We had him tested. In the case of McCrory, McCrory v. Mento Smith, when it comes to three-year-old Nevea McCrory, it has been determined by this court, Mr. McCrory, you are not the father. Thank you. I told you. Are we ready for the next result? Yes, yes Your Honor. Now, because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased, Gino Bailey, we perform what's called a sibling test in order to determine if Nevaeh McCrory is the sister of Sierra Marie Mento. Both Rose Marie McCrory and Tina Marie Smith were also tested in order to determine if there is a viable relationship between Nevaeh and Sierra Marie. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Moving forward with the results, in the case of McCrory, McCrory v. Mento Smith. Moving forward with the results, in the case of McCrory, McCrory v. Mento Smith. It has been determined by this court that Nevaeh McCrory and Sierra Marie Mento are not yes. related. Yes. Told you. Yes, told you. Mm -hmm. Now Four. we're both even. 
Now the harassment can stop. Yeah, well then maybe you better find out who your baby daddy is. Baby! Miss McCrory. Yes. Why don't you look surprised? You just, I mean, I read the result. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> honey, you just flipped that page right on to the next and went to <laughs> arguing over it, Miss Smith. Now you testified here for a good 30 minutes of my time that there was no other possible father in the world. When I read the results, Moving on. <laughs> I have to ask you, do you know who your child's father is? I know who, but I'm not saying in here. You don't have to tell me the name. I just want to know if you know. Yeah. Because that's what's important. But I'm not saying in here. I'm happy if this whole situation with Nevaeh and her real biological father can be solved in the living room instead of the courtroom. Trust me, we're here as a last resort. We are here for families who need us because they can't get down to the bottom of the situation without us. That's what we do here. But if you can leave out of this courtroom and dial that man's number and say, hey, I'd like to talk to you, I have some information, and you all never have to come see me, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Ms. Galloway, you say you became pregnant with your first child at 14 years old. And even with that young start, you maintain that all your children know and have been accepted by their fathers until now. Yes, Your Honor. You've petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that Mr. Harris is the father of your nine-month-old twins, Shekinah and Malachi Galloway. Mr. Harris, you state that you're a family man who first became a father at the age of 12, going on 13. Although that child was yours, you're certain that Ms. Galloway's twins are not. Yes, Your Honor. You all got started having babies way too young. How did you get together? Well, Your Honor, actually, it wasn't a relationship, Your Honor. It was just one night stands and hearing their pleasurable moments, to be honest, Your Honor. I mean, when I met her, it was in church, like usual, like the rest of her baby daddy. I mean, I'm gonna keep it real. First off, I was, I was dating someone that he knew. A musician. Yeah, a musician that he knew. We Come ended on. up needing a ride home on a particular day, and the guy that I was dating called him up, and so uh, he came and gave us a ride to my apartment complex. The guy that I knew, you walked down the street to, you know, drop his kids off, and Mr. Harris here helped me to the door with my groceries. And he said, um, so when you gonna let me in the house? I said, what you oh, talking about? He said, when you gonna let me come over? I said, um, the only time you're gonna come over is if we're having a Bible study. Okay, so, you know, as time goes by, you know, I do occasionally see him in, in the churches playing or whatever, so, you know, I do start conversating with him. And then there was a situation where he was gonna be walking, he said he was walking from um, Chance Hospital in Jacksonville to um, uh, not even knowing where he was gonna go, and this was Christmas Eve, and I said, okay, well, I don't have my kids this evening, and, you know, uh, it's cold outside, you're gonna be walking by yourself, you know what, I'll, I'll meet you. So we walked to a, a van where he knew the, that the doors were going to be unlocked. So we Your go in the van. van you talking about? We go into my, the my van, van. Your and we van. sleep. We sleep in the van that night. We didn't sleep in the van. We had sex in the van. That we night. slept in the van. <laughs> we slept in the van that night, and you know he didn't touch me Over anything that night. Minutes. So you know I felt comfortable, like everything was going to be okay. So you know the next morning is when you know I'm waking up, I'm feeling him. You know I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm you know, okay, I'm a, go, go past that part. Okay, so you know, <laughs> we um, like we end up getting involved. We did get involved in that van the next morning because you know that night, you know, I felt comfortable. With it. I felt like it was okay or whatever. You met him in church. <laughs> yes. And the next thing you know, you having sex with him in an abandoned van. Yes, ma'am. You did not use protection. No, I didn't. We did not didn't use no protection, man. and it was only, it was like maybe three minutes, and then he was like, okay, well, I have no, to use the restroom. no, three minutes, 45 minutes. <laughs> four, you mean 45 four, two, minutes? You mean four to five you said, minutes? You said Because it was 30, not no oh, four to five okay. minutes. Well, it was long enough to potentially produce two beautiful babies. Uh, that was just the first occasion. There was actually another occasion because, you know, after the first time of, you know, it only being that short, you know, maybe he could, you know, do a little something more. So maybe, you know, that short period of time wasn't all was that. Auditioning? No. <laughs> I believe so, Your Honor. He wasn't. He wasn't auditioning. But that night, um, once again, we we did get involved. But that was another uh, another short-lived experience. Uh, th that five minutes. But he did. We didn't use protection that night. But uh, uh, January third um, when, is when my cycle was supposed to show, and I it didn't. Um, and like it was. Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't. 
All this unprotected sex. You all, do you all understand when you don't use protection, you can get pregnant? You do yes, understand that? Yes, ma'am. But yes, you're still doing it? Yes, ma'am. So you come up pregnant. Yes, ma'am. What do you say? What do you tell him? Okay, so January 18th is when I took the home pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. And that's when I sent him the text message and the pictures. Now, right after that, I went to the emergency room and she said that you have two babies. And I'm like, okay, two babies? You know, this, you got the wrong person. She was like, no, this is, uh, this is you. This is, you're 10 weeks long now. And this is two babies right here I see. So I'm picking up the phone, I'm calling, I'm hysterical. Like, hold on now, you know, this, she said we have just two babies. That's why you call me. When I found out about these babies, Your Honor, in fact, Your Honor, it was on Facebook. <laughs> with a picture Do I of... Do see that evidence, please? With a picture of the babies and my other two daughters that I do take care of and not a deadbeat too, and her saying, you are the father. Why would you just post this? I mean, because you're not just posting exactly. Mr. Harris Look. to embarrass him. You got your kids' faces up Look, there. right after... When I... After I told him that I was having twins, shortly after, he ended up leaving... Leaving Florida. And he leave, stopped you calling... Out, you Look, he stopped out my calling work. like he used to, and, uh, she's not here today as a witness, but, you know, the lady that I stay with can... Like, she... She don't she even saw like everything me. that happened. She was the one who was listening to the phone calls. She was like, I don't know why you're doing this. And even, um, a friend, Lonnie, was telling me, you don't want to... Your ex-boyfriend? that you was with before you was with me? You don't want to... That's a lie. He's That's saying, a you lie. You was with him, him at the anyway. same time. How you gonna save me? You got That's Lonnie. A, you got... In fact, lie. Lonnie played the keyboard with me if you want to be, in That's fact, real. Um, Natasha continue. divorced Lonnie due to the to fact continue. of him cheating and going behind women I had. So let's to be continue. real. Don't hide that. To so hold on, hold on, hold okay. on. Let me understand this. Let me Where understand this. Mr. Harris, no, you're saying that Miss Galloway also slept with some other musicians that played at the church Man. with you? Lonnie is a musician. He plays the keyboard. And, and Lonnie is Mr. Samuel. Right, Mr. Lonnie and, Samuel. And he's here in court with us oh, as well. Oh, I'm so glad. Because Mr. Samuel actually... <laughs> actually, Mr. Samuel, me and Mr. Samuel was cool until we fell out behind a woman. And due to the fact that Mr. Samuel going behind, chasing behind three or four other girls I was with, Mr. Samuel was married. His wife divorced him due to the fact of what he was doing. During the time that me and Miss Galloway had what we had going on, she was showing me Facebook messages from Mr. Samuel. Oh, baby, I miss you. You need to let me come back. So, so you believe the twins' father is Mr. Samuels? Did you sleep with more than one man? Miss Galloway the during the period no, of conception. No. I was only even, I was only talking to him. That's why the, the I, I said she's not talking. here because she's working. No, we that's what y'all should have been doing was just <laughs> talking. You're right. You're right. You're right. You have no doubt. In no your doubt. Mind. Not at all. Not at all. Because during this time, like I said, did I did you sleep with Mr. Samuels too? No. That's a lie. That no, that is not a lie. You that and, is not a lie. You and Mr. Samuel slept together. Me, you, you told me out this. You told me out your own mouth. Just like the boyfriend lying. you had before you met me and had sex with me, you was you talking to me. You are trying to, to throw up everything that you can. It ain't no case. You only want child support. Are you serious? Your Honor, You're on I know my proof and my facts, Your Honor. That, not even These, two weeks after he had Yana, the pictures on Facebook, he first took of the all, pictures Yana, down. Yes, it, sir. When it comes to claiming, I'm not. I'm far from a dead because I take care of anything I make. I went on and did my research. First of all, if you say that my kids, you don't got nothing in the father's space. You can put a alleged father and in Florida, let me they would get you, Your Honor. This is both the first one to get this left play. On top of what that, Your Honor. What is this research and what is this evidence? If you know for a certain fact I'm the father, one thing for sure, like I always said, where's my right. last name? Because if you want to uphold some leverage and on so somebody, you're going to give a child a man's last name. presented to the court here are copies of the children's birth certificates. Correct, yeah. Where the father's information is... Is not... Blank. Is Correct, not Space yeah. intentionally left blank. Right. If, if she you had an option are, to put the name acting right there again, acting, Duval and County would have contacted me and said, go. Mr. Harris, we need you to come do a DNA test for these children because you was And your the thinking is she did do not you... put your name or list your name as father because... She's not even sure if I'm the DCF father. DCF has been trying to get in contact with him. That's a lie. I, I just... I call him, when are you going to take the paternity test? Because they're looking for you. Oh, you can just give them my number. Give them your number. No, they need your address. They need That's to know not who you true, are. That's not true. I just Mama in the inbox and DCS Facebook. said, hey, we've been, we send this, these things to two different addresses. We've been trying to get to him, but we can't get to him. Your All Honor. right. I want to hear from Mr. Samuels. Jerome, can you please escort him into the courtroom? Certainly. 
Mr. Harris, you contend that Ms. Galloway slept with Mr. Samuels. Ms. Galloway, you say that's not true. Exactly. All that's right, let's hear what Mr. Samuels has to that's say. That's the father. Mr. Samuels, that's the daddy. Yeah, that's the daddy right there. Mr. Samuels, we've heard testimony today. Mr. Harris has indicated he believes you had a sexual relationship with Ms. Galloway. Ms. Galloway says that's not true. Mr. Harris contends that you are, in fact, the father of the twins. No, ma'am, I am not the father of the twins. Look, 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 uh, look at him, y'all know. That, that, come on now, look at him, look at the babies. <laughs> Think about it. Ray is known as being a hoe. Okay, okay let's go. speak respectfully. Say it nicely. I'm sorry, Yana. Okay, well, he's known for being a dog. I'm a dog. What are you? Yo, why are you here right now? Okay, okay. We don't even know you down here right now. Okay, we okay. We had the same past. We did. I mean, we my did. Women did you we chase? Did. Like, come on, Lonnie. Let's okay, be real. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I did it. Yeah, I chased it. Yeah, I chased it. Come on. I chased it. How many, I chased didn't your ex-wife leave you because no, actually, you got divorced? No, you got wife got divorced because you slept with the woman I was with. Okay, listen. Mr. Samuels, you say you've never had a sexual relationship with Miss Galloway. No, ma uh, what is your relationship like with the twins? Um, basically, when she had the twins, like, I got remarried. So, me and my wife went over there to the house, and, you know, we seen the babies, and the thing about when I, when I picked them up, I said, oh, yeah, I knew who the father is, these twins. They basically, oh, like, is, oh, he, they, they look just like him. You, you, he can't deny you, especially the little girl. He cannot deny that child, y'all know. Then when the kids got sick, she tell me, I be like, where, where's, where's Mr. Harris? Oh, he... Lonnie, uh, he, you knew oh, that. He, Why you ain't never oh, hit me oh, in the inbox, Lonnie? Think about it. Now, now, you, now, you, now, now you know we was cool. Now, now, now you know we was cool. Now, we now, fell now, out over now, a woman. Now, Come now, on, let's be real. All right, let's talk one at a time. On. I want to understand this. You say Why what, you ain't Mr. Samuels? Okay, basically, when the twins got sick, I asked and I asked Mr. Galloway, I said, where's Ray? She said... Oh, um, he he's not he's not doing enough for the kids. He's not trying to do nothing. And based on us, I went to the store and I got the Tylenol because the babies had a fever. I love kids. I got kids by myself. I got three. So basically, okay, if it, okay, she called me and be like, oh, they're they're sick. I'm saying, can you can you help me out? Okay, if I got the money, yeah, I'll help you out. So you pretty much stepped up yes, like a father would yes, for these twins. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Harris. Yeah. I never denied none of my children. I had two other daughters. You doing it and now? The son, I had two other daughters and a son. They didn't been to church with me, the same pastors who were slandering my name and costing me to work. It affected your livelihood. Yes, it did, Yana. Explain to the court how. Okay. I do private security and I also was a musician. Okay. And a lot of my contracts came through different pastors and other people. One day I was sitting at home and a pastor called me. He said, you ought to be ashamed of yourself doing your girl like that, ain't taking care of them kids, just running around her, got her out there. She already got five kids, what kind of man is you? So I told the pastor, I said, look here, first of all, I didn't made it to I ain't getting nothing from it, don't call me with that. It's just like that, if you want to know something, tell her to give me a DNA test and we can go from there. Then I hung up the phone on him. A gospel rapper called me and asked me, man, what's going on with you and her, man? You denying the kids like that? You going in like that? It made me look like a bad person. The person feel like, what well, I'm gonna pay you some money for when you ain't even taking care of your own responsibilities? How much money specifically have you lost because All of together, this? about $3,900. It cost me shows. People didn't want me to be their musician no more. He claims that I'm the one that's slandering his name, but then he also says that um, all these women are trying to pin babies on him. Yeah, the other two girls that he claimed that he was taking care of, he says, the oh, they slept with another person. They slept with mm -hmm. somebody else, so they should get a paternity test, too. They slept with... Both this of you all doing a lot of research, and you need to be doing a lot less sex. <laughs> Everything is now you gotta research somebody. You're supposed to research somebody before you ever have sex with them. You're right. But where do you work, Miss Galloway? I'm a full time student. I'm unemployed. You're a full time student? Yes, ma'am. With no job? Not anymore. No, now, Mr. Point? Harris? Yes, Sean. You think she, Miss Galloway, should be responsible for this $3,900 that you lost because you're saying you lost jobs because she went around talking about you were a father to her twins and you were not stepping up to the plate and you were a deadbeat. Yes, Your Honor. And that is your countersuit. Yes, it is. All right. I can rule on that, but only after I get the results. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Not to put the blame on anybody, um, I grew up um, without my father in my life, and so it was hard for me to identify with... Um, uh, dealing with men and uh, knowing whether or not a man actually loved you or would care for you and want to take care of you and uh, And so you're so looking... Forth. Listen, you didn't even have to tell me that story for me to know that. 
Because um, there's no way a beautiful young girl like you should be running around giving away herself for free over and over and over again. <laughs> and make no mistake, you shouldn't be getting paid for it either. Yeah. That's not the point I'm making. Yes, what I'm saying is that's your body, that's your temple, that's your right. spirit, that's your soul. You laying down with men, and then when you're trying to find them, they're running all around the country, marrying other people in here, trying to deny children that they've produced with you, and you left not holding the bag, but holding five children with no job. I'm happy you're getting your education because you're going to need it. Yes. Yeah, my. Jerome, I'm ready. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Galloway versus Harris, pertaining to nine-month-old twins, Shekinah and Malachi Galloway, it has been determined by this court... In the case of Galloway versus Harris, it has been determined by this court Mr. Samuel, you are not the father. Mr. Harris, you are the twins' father. Well, my research <laughs> says that you're, in fact, the biological father. How many children do you have? It's nine, y'all. Nine. nine children. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so frustrated. Yeah. I really am. This is not how you live life. You're right. Your destiny and your purpose is not to be baby-making factories. Yeah. What are you doing with your life? Yeah. Mr. Threlkeld, you yeah. have entered this courtroom with a marriage on the brink of divorce. You state that while you were out of the country serving in the military, your wife paraded around town with other men. And she has admitted to cheating multiple times. You claim you are not sure if you are the father of her third child, 18-month-old Liliana, and have asked the court for a paternity test. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Threlkeld, you yes. say you began exotic dancing to make extra money. Yes, sir. Because Mr. Threlkeld's military salary was inadequate to live on, and that led to a few indiscretions. You argue that Mr. Threlkeld treats your daughter, Liliana, differently than your other children, and are hoping today's DNA results will settle the matter once and for all. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Threlkeld, when did you first discover uh, that your wife had been unfaithful? Actually, ma'am, um, I was overseas in Afghanistan, and I was at, uh, up in the Northeast, and a soldier of mine came up to me and tapped me on the boot and said, hey, I need to go outside. We need to talk right now. So earlier on in the day, me and him got into some words, so I thought we were going to, you know, settle it. Well, it turns out his wife and my wife were friends, and she had found out that she was actually stripping as we spoke. And um, at the time, you know, I found out about it. I thought, you know, it was all just a hoax. So I went, you know, calmly to the, uh, the Internet lounge, got on Facebook and asked her, hey, you know, is, is it true you're doing what I told you I didn't want you doing at all? And she didn't really say anything, honestly. And um, right after I left there, our base actually got attacked. And uh, they actually turned off the internet for three weeks. So I was in the dark for three weeks. And then another two weeks after those three weeks went by, I got transferred to Bagram. And while I was at Bagram, I finally was able to get back online. And I get on Facebook and there's this, some clown on there saying, you know, you know liking all her skimpy photos. Um, Skimpy you know, yeah, was following her. He liked that she was start working at the club. So now I started doing a little bit of research, wondering, you know, who this guy is. Mm -hmm. So um, I went to the phones and I called her and I said, "Hey, you know, I know you're stripping. You know that that you know I could somewhat deal with. You know, tell me about this guy that's going on." And she says, "Oh, it's nothing. It's just a friend. You know, etc. The, the same BS that First every of all, girl we says." we done. He hacked my Facebook. He invaded my privacy, and he looked into out. my stuff into my messages. So, so that's how we found out. What did he find? There were messages, yes, but... Actually, ma'am, see, she's gonna... No. That's already a lie. She actually... I got on there, and on the inbox, <laughs> I see... Not... I see 
oh, baby, I can't wait to see you later on tonight. I had a great time with you. I can't wait to see you. know, the last few days we've spent together has been amazing. These are and the messages yes, you're ma seeing yes, that your wife is entertaining while you're serving your country. Yes, ma'am. She didn't even have the courage or the yes, decency to tell me. No, your friend's husband told me that she was doing what she's doing because she didn't have the decency to say, hey, I'm doing what I so, want to do. Ms. Threlkeld, I'm... What? Your husband's overseas, serving his country, yes. serving our country, yeah. keeping us all safe. <laughs> what in the world led ask. you to entertain these type of messages on your Facebook and you've admitted that you had a few indiscretions. What is going on? First of all, we were done. We were not together. We had a phone conversation, and he had said, we're going to get a divorce, and I'll send you the divorce papers. And then no. we hung up. And let me finish. The, what, what had let happened was, finish. when I was at Fenty, we got in a phone argument, like he said, on Skype. And um, I told her, look, if you're going to strip after me and you, I've already gone through the discussion that you're not to do it until I get back, and we might even, we we'll talk about it then. She says... There was reasons why I needed to. Yeah, see, she says she, need, we, she needed the funds to support our family. Overseas, yeah, I was do. making no. $4,000 to $5,000 tax-free a month. Living in a four in a four hundred room. It wasn't even rent, that a, much. Room. Okay, Your Honor, there are expenses when you have kids. Um, the money that was coming in, let's just be real, it wasn't enough to support the kids. And on top wasn't of that... Wasn't enough to support the kids. How? Because I'm going to keep it real. When, when Five I, grand a month. I had to tax have free. it mainly. This is what I'm trying to understand. Ms. Throkel, you say you guys were done. Yes. So, in other yeah. words, these things that he's finding on your Facebook and these indiscretions you're telling him about, this really shouldn't be an issue because, in your mind, you guys, you thought your marriage was over. Stuff as it may yes. be. Yes. Because it was. you all had an argument about you stripping and you yes. hung up. Yes, Your Honor. We hung up and we said wow. it was done <laughs> because I wanted to do what I wanted to do. We, let okay. me explain. Okay, let now we're explain. getting to the truth. Okay. You wanted to do what you wanted to exactly. do. Exactly. And why is it that you wanted because to Because we got married too young. Well, I needed to she because... She wanted to be a hooker in no. training, Will so you she just let me talk. Well, no, I... But... No. no. See, the reason what I have I'm to asking is because I, I really want to know... He's always calling me. Well, why I you mean... chose... Stripping. I mean, because you could have just said, I want to go get an extra job at the mall. Okay. I want to be I had in chose, Ma'am, since, oh, since we've I been had together, to since 2008, she hasn't started working until actually about three weeks ago. It's that her is actually first job, time by the job. Way. Ho hooking or stripping? It's not hooking. You're selling your body for money, hooker. No, it's not. Anyways. Excuse me. Uh, wow. Anyways, to make matters worse, ma'am, when I um, when I actually went out, the day I was supposed to come back home from overseas, we were told before we even got on the plane at, at Fort McCall, Wisconsin, that there's going to be the color guard, the motorcycles that drive, you know, in front. The news was going to be there. I get there, and not my father, my mother, my wife, like I said, we'll quote that, weren't even there. We get there, you know, they call everybody's names up, everybody's clapping and cheering. They come to my name, and it's just dead quiet. No one was there. So as everybody's getting ready to go home, I'm sitting over there with my bags, and I, uh, I didn't even have a phone yet, so I couldn't even call her. So I'm sitting there under a street light, with my, one, my army bag on my on one side and a suitcase on the other. No, I was waiting in the car for 30 Maybe, minutes. Your Honor, he never minute. showed wait, up. Wait, wait, You waited in the car, so when they called his name, he says no one was there to clap or cheer. Did you hear them call his name? We weren't at the airport. We were. I was waiting across from his unit where he told me to wait. And I sat there for 30 minutes waiting. Actually, actually ma'am, two weeks before we came back from overseas, my unit actually sent papers to all the family members back home given the exact address and time and who would be there at the time. So it's not like somebody didn't know or she didn't know where it was at and when it was going to be there. Hell, it was on Channel 5, Channel 8, Channel 7, Channel 14, well, and 11. Did so, she eventually pick you up? Actually, you know, when she picked yes, me up... Yes, I did. She came dressed in her clear hooker shoes and this. Hooker shoes? That's one whole outfit? That's a, I think that's a dress is what they call it. I don't know. Yes. She's in clear shoes with money still in them. <laughs> and the okay, that was for decoration. So you come home, Mr. Threlkeld, and your, your wife and your family aren't there. But she eventually does pick you up. So you were there at yes, some point to get him. Yes, Your Honor. So you're riding down the highway. Yeah, she has her phone. And, um, you know, I was wondering who, because I saw the guy, she hadn't fully admitted that she's been seeing this guy. So I snatched the phone from her, and I started going through it. And as I was looking through it, there was a number that she'd called, like, 13 times. 
So I called him right back. Mm -hmm. And I, he answers the phone, hey, you know, I said, who is this? Are you the one that's been my wife? He said, yes, yes, I've been. And, and now her defense, she starts laughing, saying, ha, I knew he was just going to say that. He's just saying that to, to make you mad. And it was ridiculous. I mean, you know, that was just the only So defense. when he calls the guy on the phone, you deny it. Yeah. You say, okay. We're on it. So we get back to the house, and, um, like, throughout the night, I guess she had, she had not gone over there for three or four days or so. Mm -hmm. And um, he texts her and says, you know, I guess I, f I figured now who you picked. And so she starts crying. And I said, Excuse why are you me, crying? We were already done and she's like, she's like, well, that would, he was my boyfriend. Do? Why do you care? Why, why would you have a matter? boyfriend if you're married? Paper or no we paper? We weren't. We were done. You had papers? Well, why do we have to have papers to be done? You said it was Cause, over. Because in a marriage. It's called a divorce. Yeah, ho. Oh. So we were done a few days and ago. Just, just a week ago just, we were done. But nothing there. You're still married you went, until you get one. In your mind, this was a mutual decision that you two were finished mm -hmm. and were heading for a divorce. Yes, Your Honor. Until you get home <laughs> and somehow you end up being husband and wife again, don't you? Yes, yes ma'am. We actually yeah. had, like, makeup sex, like, within minutes of being home. All right. We keep skipping the event or events that led to the conception... Actually, ma'am, uh... ...of your last child in which you feel you may or may not be the father. Well, I was Why actually... Just be quiet? When I was overseas and I found out about her stripping and her cheating, there was a few options that came across my head of how I should deal with it. So, when I got back home within those first week or two, we had sex like four or five times a day, and I purposely she doesn't want to hear was that. trying to so get So you pregnant. had it in your mind that if I get my wife pregnant, she'll stop stripping. Roger, because, because that's going to definitely well, what she be tells me, kind of like she just said, kind of like how she just said, I'm going to strip and I'm going to do whatever I want because, because that's what we I'm going to do. I said, oh, really? Okay, I'll give you a nine-month break on me. I mean, so. Yeah, so. but apparently so. people still want me, regardless. Even though you've had this conversation that you're done while you were overseas, you come back and you have in your mind, maybe if I could get her to stop stripping, we could maybe make it work. I yes. get her pregnant. She can stay off the pole and stay in the house. Yes, ma'am. That's in your mind. Yes. But he didn't think about all the other expenses of having a child. The bottom line, Your Honor, is I had to support my children. There are things you need to do regardless, and I knew he wasn't going to get a job when huh. he came back. You asked why we're here for a paternity court. Within three weeks of us being home, she was pregnant. So, I mean, I don't know if it was my devious, messed up head that got, you know, got her pregnant or the dude. Would. So, um, that's, that's the reason, 100%, why we're here. Um, because the truth is, is that even though you had that plan in your mind, that if I get her pregnant, that will be a professional hindrance, But we'll he doesn't say. think about all the other costs that come along with that and responsibilities. But Hence why we have three kids You were now. also sleeping with another man during that same time period. Yes, Am I Your correct? Honor. Yes. So you didn't know as well? Yes, Your Honor. That's who could correct. be the father. Now, Mr. Thrillco, you asked your wife to take a lie detector test at some point. Am I correct? Yes, ma'am. Before she came back, I said, look, you know, obviously the path we're going down right now isn't a good one. Either it's a go or no go. So I think for my insecurities, I'd like you to take a lie detector test. And she kept saying, oh, yeah, it's fine, I'll do it, you know, no big deal. Why don't but when we it comes, when it comes closer to, to, to actually doing one. it, she starts, you know, getting nervous. I could start telling from body language and, you know, tone of her voice. She was getting nervous. We she don't tells need a lie detector test. Out. We just need communication. There's no She reason. tells me straight out. What happened? She tells me straight out about the people that she actually cheated on me with. Right after our first daughter, she, she cheated on me with a guy when she was going to cosmetology school. On her way to cosmetology school, she goes to his house. And a little bit before that, he was taking pictures of both of us. And when she went there to go check the photos, she got a tour of the house, and lo and behold, the tour ended at the room. So, um, so you slept with the photographer. Yes, Your Honor, I did. What else did you find out? There was a friend of mine that we've been friends with for a couple years, and when I went to uh, AT, I think it's either, either annual training or drill, she was watching TV next to this one guy, and she started falling asleep, and next thing you know, okay, he look, rolled over look. on her, and she thought okay. it was Your me. Your Honor, when he... <laughs> no. And had sex with him. Mistaken identity. I guess. He's about this As tall and ugly. It comes down to the point where I did make a mistake, yes. If but I you said, back, it, I you but said I a few indiscretions. That's not one mistake. He's controlling. He is verbally abusive. Emotion. He treats my daughter differently than the yeah, other two. Yeah, she's a daddy's two. girl. Well, 
That's he because he has explicitly said he doubts that he may or may not be her father. Do you think, honestly, that he is the father of Liliana? It could be a 50-50 chance, honestly. Your Anybody honor. got a quarter? Do you understand that for a man, for any person, that that would be really hard to accept? There is a part of me that listens to you both talk and sees that one, if not both of you, maybe still wants to make this work. Are you two interested in trying to see if you could save this marriage? Yes, Your Honor. She answered very she, affirmatively, she, uh, quickly. Uh, How about you, Mr. Threlkel? I would Are you say interested? Yes. I would say yes, but as a guy, I've never really been put in the shoes to where I would have to it's choose yes or no. my kid or not. You do or you don't. I mean, there is still a, a baby involved. I mean, you can't just. I'm, I'm not going to take it out on her, even, even if oh, it's a you're not, not mine. Take it out on even me if it's yet. not I've mine. No, the one I'm going to take it out on years. isn't her. It's the one in the pink shirt. You're so, the one congratulations. You take it out on me all, but, every so, single but day. But let, let's be clear here. There's not you just, just need to get over one. It. There's one baby in question as it relates to the paternity, but you all still have two additional children together. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. You're a family. Yes. Yes. So these results are going to affect in some way this family positively or negatively. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. All right. It's time for the results. Here you go, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. Our results today were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. In the case of Threlkeld versus Threlkeld, in the case of Threlkeld versus Threlkeld, pertaining to one year old Liliana. Mr. Threkel, you are Liliana's father. <laughs> Ms. Threlkel, it seems like you became instantly emotional. Is that relief or is that yes, John, it's joy? Really, or I both? mean, it's all together. I'm happy because I know she's his, so I would like to work on everything. Well, ma'am, there's, there's a reason why, because since the day it's happened, uh, since February 2011, to be exact, when I found out, um, there has not been a day that's gone by that I haven't let her not relive the mistakes she made. Period. I appreciate your honesty. You were owning up to the fact that you would not let the mistake go. You threw it up in her face over and over so for and two over. Years. Two and years. I still stayed. No other person would have stayed. Likewise. What does that tell you both? Looks like we're stuck with each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's important today about this news is that the doubt, the fear associated with it is gone now. You know. I see your emotion. What do you feel? You still don't think she well, looks like you do. There was times that I actually kind of disowned her. And um, every time she came around me, I called her JB. So now it comes out. Other with person's truth. baby. Um, now that I know that she's not, you know, it's, uh, it's good to know. You know now that you are her father and you've got a lot of making up to do. Okay? This marriage is the both of yours. Together, you both have to honor it. You both have to respect it. And you both have to will be willing to work on it. Courts adjourned.